All right, hey, what's going on today? I'm going to show you guys how to install a 25 inch LED light bar made by Nylite right behind the grill of a 2007 Chevrolet Tahoe, so stay tuned. All right, let's get to the uh, unboxing. First of all, this product's made by Nylite right here. And this is a very, very good product. I really enjoy it. Um, I do have one on my Duramax. And uh, as far as it, this being sort of a low budget uh, light bar, um, I think it's really good quality and it does last quite a bit. Definitely lasts a lot longer than the, the, the normal cheap ones. So this one right here is a 25 inch, 162 watt LED light bar. And uh, it comes with a little, looks like a little guide right here of all the different light bars that they have. And you can actually order this kit right off of Amazon. And I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description on where you can actually find this thing. Uh, but overall, I mean, pretty nice. Uh, one thing that I really like about this design right here is these little, these little guys right here, they actually swivel. They move left and right um, where you actually mount the brackets. So you don't have to, so wherever you drill the holes at where you're trying to install this thing, it doesn't have to be perfectly in line. You can actually line this up, slide it around to where it needs to be. But very nice. It's also waterproof. Where, you know, basically what I, what I can do is dunk this thing in the water while it's turned on, and uh, this thing won't go out. So um, they yeah, had very nice, nice uh, heavy duty gauge wire at the very end of it. So let me get a good shot of this. It's almost like a, a jewel effect, as you can see. It's got these little bevels right here on the insides. So. Uh, all right, next with the kit, you're gonna have these little uh, these little mounting brackets to come with it. And one thing that I really like about these mounting brackets is that uh, when you install this thing, as you can tell, it pivots up and down. So basically, once you mount mount it, you can either go up or down or however you wanna actually adjust this thing once you get it on the brackets. So very neat design there. And this kit actually comes with three of them with the hardware. So all right, on to the get this out of the way. Alright. So on to the wiring kit. And this is actually where I get most of my questions at when I do my installs. People ask me a lot of questions about how I ran through the cab and what what does certain connectors do. So I'm gonna explain that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and go in depth with it. So make sure you pay attention. Watch the video from start to finish so you don't miss anything. Okay, and again, this is actually a Nylite brand as well. This came with the kit. So the way this works is off the bat, you're gonna have this little on and off toggle switch and there'll always be a red light on there uh, when it's off and then when you hit the button, it's gonna be green. So. And then it's just, there's just a little adhesive tape on the back of it. So, so you're going to have your switch. Um, so obviously switch, and I'm just going to show you really quick. I'll show you, you know, watch if you watch the video later down, you'll see how I'm wiring this. You're going to have your relay. You're going to have your negative and positive right here with a fuse block. And then moving on down, it's pretty simple. You're going to have the negative and positive that goes to the actual light bar. So all you have to do is mount this little relay somewhere. There's a little hole here. Just go ahead and uh, find a bolt that's inside your engine bay. Go ahead and mount it. Run this to the battery. Uh, positive. Run this to the, uh, the other terminal, which is negative. Or what you can do is just run this to the positive side and then mount this somewhere where uh, some metal or whatever. That way you can ground it. And that's it. Very simple install. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so uh, go ahead and remove the 10 millimeter bolts that attach to uh, this little plastic piece right here. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm not going to take off the whole front clip of the, the, the bumper. I'm going to make this a little bit easier on us. I'm going to go ahead and just take off this plastic piece. So really what it does is it involves removing a few of these body clips on top of the uh, on top on top of the radiator up here. So you're going you're to want to go ahead and remove that to expose this piece right here that I'm going to show you guys how to take off really quick. This should be the easiest way to do this.
All right, so uh, first what you want to go ahead and do is remove this little girl piece, and I already did it for you. Um, it basically all it does is you have to get in through, and it just unclips. like that um, next what you're gonna go ahead and do is just remove all these little bolts because I'm gonna go ahead and take this plastic cover right off okay so uh, once you removed all those little 10 millimeter bolts Go ahead and just uh, pull this piece out right here. And it's kind of hooked on right here, and you'll you'll have a little clip. You just get removed. But now that that's out of the way, as you can see, um, there's plenty of access to go ahead and just get down there. And uh, one of the great things about this Nylite product is the fact that you have these little sliders, like I was explaining to you during the unboxing. Take my brackets, line it up wherever I decided that this is where I want to put it, right? And then just drill my holes. So once I do that, as you can see, that's the ground. There's a hole right there. There's the ground. What you're gonna want to go ahead and do is just jack your truck up and uh, just put a little jack under there, just a, you know, just a few inches so you can get underneath the the uh, vehicle. Because what you're gonna want to do is once you drill a hole, you gotta get under there to hold the bolt. With the actual mounting bolts that they give you, they're actually too short once you drill those holes. So make sure you buy, I would say, about four inch. You, you know, you might have them actually laying in your garage or your toolbox or whatever, but two four inch bolts is my recommendation to you. So uh, make sure you have a nice long extension. I'm using a deep socket because uh, once you get up, up underneath the vehicle itself, it's going to be kind of hard to. Uh, reach up underneath there so this is going to be ideal 14 millimeter uh, open end combination wrench and uh, you know just hook up that way you can hook up to here I wouldn't suggest a half inch it's kind of excessive but this is one of my longer extensions so uh, let's get to it go ahead and put that bracket in there put that nice long bolt through there bear with me guys um so there's the front bumper. You're gonna want to go up underneath. All right, now we're underneath the vehicle. That's the exposed uh, threading for that long bolt. So let me back out. Right there. All right. guys as you can see now that I have that where I want it I can sled it slide it left or right um, but what I want to do is just push these bolts down just like that and it will be a little off once you actually because you got it again you have to tighten it you have to pivot it up and down um, but uh so just make sure that you put those long bolts down first you know make sure that they're uh, they're in pre-done before you actually install this all right okay so once i got the light bar in position what i'm going to go ahead and do is uh it's going to be kind of challenging but hold that bracket in at one spot what i'm going to do is just simply tighten it down and put it back in position it's a lot easier doing it this way guys than trying to work your work around everything hold that slider piece keep it in position go ahead and 
and tighten this slider down. All right, so I got the front grill piece back on and I have the light bar completely mounted. And uh, it really did not take that long. This is actually a pretty easy project. So there it is right there. You know, it's a little wet. It actually, obviously it's winter time and I don't have a garage above me, so I'm trying to do this outside, but it's not too bad. But a uh, pretty simple project. Um, let me show you here. So I got the cables right here. So my battery on this 5.3 liter is on this side, on the passenger side. So what I'm gonna do is route my wiring. I got all my wiring right here. I'll show you guys how to run all that. Okay, so uh, basically this is the, the wiring harness that goes to the, to the actual clip for the switch or the light. What I'm gonna do since the battery is on this side of the engine um, I'm gonna go ahead and just go on through the passenger side and then go sideways because there's a little rubber grommet against the firewall right there but um, I'm not gonna tap into that just for the fact that I don't have enough wiring so I'm gonna go in through this side right here and then and I'll show you exactly what I'm up to here so what I'm gonna do is just take that cable right there the one that goes into the cab and I'm just gonna go ahead and feed it right through here All right, as you can see, went ahead and fed it right through. Let me show you where it came out. Came out on this side right here. And then this is this is as much as I can really work with so far. But uh, I think I have plenty because the switch has enough uh, reach as well. Okay, so uh, basically what I did is I went ahead and wired everything up. I just gotta clean the wiring up, of course, and you know, zip tie everything out of the way. This is going to be my switch right here. You can hear that relay kick on. But yeah, it works. That's great. Um, so let me show you how I did this. First of all, you guys can see that in person. That is really bright. These, uh, This actually tucks in very nice. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. So uh, I'm going to stay tuned for the night test, by the way. I'm going to do a night test on this one so you can see the before and after. So... Let me show you. I got the negative and positive right here hooked up to the light. Um, the switch is actually, I just threw it over, but it's actually routed um, through this side fender well here, which uh, I'm going to tuck in here soon. So let me show you. Uh, there is a positive wire right here that goes to the firewall. And what I did is I went ahead and just put the positive there instead where that block is. Uh, ran the relay right there. And then I grounded it right on top of here. There's like this little mount bracket um, that goes to, looks like a support bracket for the vehicle. So I went ahead and just grounded it there. And then, uh, so I didn't have to do it to the battery itself. And just went ahead and round, routed all my wiring uh, all the way through there. Which again, I'm going to zip tie all that, clean it up. Um... But other than that, I mean, very, very cool. Very, it, looks, it looks nice. Even when it's off, you can barely even tell it's there unless you're looking at it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put all my, all my plastic pieces back on, button everything up, and I should be good to go. Okay, so just a quick overview. Um, everything is completely put back together, and I'm just going to show you briefly, briefly what was all done here. So I had to take off the plastic piece here, take off this top cover, um, you know, pull off this uh, bottom vent right here. And uh, as far as the wiring goes, I wired it right there, but you can w wire it to the battery, directly to the battery is probably your easiest bet. But I like that just because it's cleaner. And I routed all my wiring right through the engine bay, right through here, right to the light. And what I did is I just zip tied everything. I know you can't see it, everything's already tucked in, but uh, you know, the ground, just find, just find a really good sturdy piece of metal and just bolt it straight down to it. Ran it through the side panel here. Took off this cover, ran it to the cover underneath the dash. And then I'll show you where I ended up here. 
and then there's my switch right there. Everything's all tucked up underneath nice and neatly. Um, wires aren't dangling. And uh, here's the uh, on and off switch so you can see here. Red is off and green is on, obviously. So. All right, guys, so here's the night test. These are the, the headlights. The, he the only thing that's on right now are the two headlights. So uh, here's the big light. It's crazy how much brighter that is. It really is, guys. It's nuts. I'm really glad I did this. And, uh, you know, the biggest reason why I did this on my truck is for the fact that um, I do live out in a small town, so it, when I'm driving in, I got to worry about watching for deer. But, uh, of course, you don't want to keep this thing on or uh, at least turn it off on the high on the road when you're passing a driver because you're gonna blind them so uh but man that looks great it looks really cool I'm really impressed okay so overall the installation itself took about 30 minutes it really was not that hard to do i'm pretty excited about having this led light bar right behind my grill i've been wanting to do that for a while now but uh overall hey if this video was helpful to you make sure you hit that like button and uh, if you have any questions, just make sure you leave them in the comments below. I will get back to you. And if you're interested in buying this product, go ahead and scroll down to the link that I'm going to leave right in the item description. Go ahead and click on that and get yourself one. But other than that, I appreciate your time and you have a great day.